Hey everybody, this is just a real quick video for anybody who might have one of these Brighton computers. This is the Ryder 750. It's probably the same for them all, and I noticed other people mention this too. If you have one of these and you want to connect it to your Garmin style mount, I have a few of them here. I have even another one on my bike. Um, and you don't have the original mount and you want to use one of these, I think I figured out the solution to it. So I got this one secondhand. Thank you, Leonard, by the way, for it. Um, so it didn't come with the mount. And I tried 3D printing one and that didn't really work out so well. But I kept looking at it and looking at it and I finally figured out what was going on. And what it was is that these little grooves in here, now I've modified mine already so they don't look like the original, but these were little um, angled channels and they weren't going too far enough to the outside. And so they weren't engaging these stops. Basically these are little click point kind of stops. So when you put it in like that and you rotate it, these essentially springs are supposed to pop in there. But if these uh, grooves in this are too shallow, it'll never engage. So what I did to fix it, really simple, it literally took a minute. I happened to have this uh, grinding bit, and that's just what I happened to have, and it was about the right size. So I turned it onto the lowest setting, held it like this, of course on the piece of wood so it was more stable, and just went in here and, and kind of opened it up and brought that groove out more that direction. Made it a little wider, a little deeper, and a little bit more out that way. And once I did that, now if I stick it on any of these Garmin style compatible mounts, it clicks. It really clicks into place and it's, it's very solid. So, and again, you just do it on your computer, not, you're not touching your mount because you don't want to mess with, I'm not sure if this one's, yeah, what's going on with this one, but. Yeah, you can feel it right there, engaged. So that's just a real quick tip how you can get, I haven't tried it on this one yet, but yep, same thing. It engages correctly now. You know, it's it, you have to be a bit delicate with it, but basically you're just trying to make these channels a little bit more that way. And of course on this one, more that way. If you look really close at your mount and you take it off the way I did, you'll be able to see what's going on and why these aren't engaging because as you can see on that circle they go all the way to the edge they go all the way to the outside whereas if you match it up and sit it on here and look at it from here and look very closely you'll see that the brighton one didn't and doesn't go all the way to the edge so uh, you just have to make these grooves a little bit longer i mean you're just taking off nothing almost nothing and just do it bit by bit do uh, a little bit try it do a little bit try it you don't want to go too far with it but if you get it right, you'll feel it. It's solid. So that's my tip. Hope it helps somebody. Talk to you later. Bye.